Hey guys, it's Mr. Bulk here, and this is my water fiend guide. The gear you'll need is a Helm of Neatsanat, a Fury, or a Glory, a Fire Cape, a Trim Skill Cape, or Soul Wars Cape is recommended, a weapon that has high crush bonus such as a Zamorakian Spear, a Ceridome Sword, any God Sword, or a Chaotic Maul. You can use Black Dehyder, Carols, or Armadale, or Pernix. I recommend Barrow's Gloves. If you don't have them, you can use a Regen Brace. Bring Dragon Boots or Steadfast Boots. And for your ring, bring a Berserker Ring. And that's your setup. For your inventory, I recommend bringing an extreme attack, an extreme strength, a Ceridome and brew, and a super restore. The brew will raise your defense, so use that first, and then use this, and then pot up. The prayer renewal is to recharge your prayer as you are in combat. Use the prayer potions once you are low on prayer. The rock tails are for safety, but the carol should protect you from the mage attacks, so protect range and use piety so set that as your quick prayers for faster kills and I also brought a bunyip pouch for when you get inside of there because it helps you heal faster and you won't need to use much food brought swallow whole scrolls because they drop raw food which you can use to heal yourself and then I bring lumbridge teleport so that you can teleport to Lumbridge and there's an altar already there to recharge your prayer and then just go to the bank and repeat what you do. And then the game's necklace is to get there. So you're going to rub it and go to Barbarian Outpost. From here you're going to want to head south. So let's take a look at the mini map. From Barbarian Outpost, you're going to head south until you get to here, and then you jump into the Whirlpool. If you cannot access the Whirlpool yet, you're going to go down here to Otto's house, talk to him, and then you're going to want to cut down a log and then catch on fire with the longbow, or fish Barbarian right here, I think. Next, you're going to want to head south. So you get to the whirlpool. Some things about entering the whirlpool is you cannot have your familiar summoned before you enter it. So you have to wait until after you're in there to summon your bunyip. And then you can also use a unicorn if you're a higher summoning level. Once you jump in, you will then end up on a top floor. On the floor under this one, there's some green brutal dragons. You're going to protect magic and hope you don't get hurt. So I'm going to go down this right here. And then summon my bunyip. Protect magic. There you go. Then I'm going to run south and once you get here you're going to want to turn left and then you just curve around to right here pot up protect and then you're good to go make sure your weapon is on crush or else it will not be effective what you're going to do is get not fight that. Go up here and fight some water fiends. Crush weapons are most effective, and I don't know if I mentioned earlier, but you can also use super attack and strengths, super defense if you want. And you're going to bring mostly prayer potions because if you have high level 
mage resistance, you won't get hurt. Water fiends drop a lot of crimson charms and such. I pick them all up for the long run. And the drops that they drop that you want to pick up are water orbs, water battle staffs, and stuff like that. I pick up mithril arrows because you can just equip them. And it saves inventory space and you get money. And that's pretty much it. You can bring a prayer renewal. And the stats I recommend are about 80 defense. And then I'd say around 90 strength, 85 attack. And then this is your guide to water fiends. And I recommend that you find a world that's not crowded. It'll get you faster kills per hour, leading to more charms. And that's it.